fun day. I decided, because I haven't done one of these videos in a while, to play with a flat faced hair dryer. Now a little history, I discovered the hair dryer like two years ago or whatever. Um, just like a random little thing, but people started using it and loving it. And I actually moved away from it because my paints were getting thicker and um, I was finding other hair dryers. But I figured, first of all, I wanted to use this fun attachment. I don't, I probably have used it, honestly, in the beginning, I don't remember. So, um, and number two, I'm going away next week to California, but I want to use up a lot of my paints and I realize I have a bit of a blue problem. Let's count four times five. I have 20 blues that I want to use. I'm going to show them to you now. Okay, here are all the blues. Um, let's start with what I know. This is gold and phthalo turquoise. This is very nice. I believe this is Amsterdam blue green, greenish blue. This one looks like Amsterdam Prussian blue. This one looks like Joe Sonia. It's a Joe Sonia blue. I forgot what it's called, but it's a Joe Sonia one. French something. Am I right? This one. Hmm be Prussian blue. Did I say Prussian blue already? This one, I don't know what this one is. <laughs> so these greens, which I love, um, you know, I like them very much. This looks like cobalt turquoise. These two look, or even these three look like cobalt turquoise. This, I believe, is a custom that I made with phthalo green and white. This one looks like a teal. Um, this also looks like a custom. I, I think I love this color so much. It's probably the same as this one. Phthalo green and white, love it. This also looks like a custom that I made with um, phthalo blue and white, okay. This is TLP Hammerhead, very nice. This, now I have two of these. Oh, I remember. Oh no, I have three of them. Okay, so what I know is this one for sure is the new waterfall, okay. This one, I don't know, I don't remember. One of, oh, and this one I made with Delft Blue and Triart Iridescent, okay? Let's not forget this is Sea Glass, love it. Um, oops, sorry. This is my custom pool side that I made next to TLP Blue Eyes. So you can see they're a little different. Okay, Whew, those are the blues. So those were all my blues. So I figure what I'll do um, is, and I don't normally just do like monochromatic, so I'll probably throw in my um, Harvest Gold. I love Harvest Gold. And I'll probably do it over a black base because I love blues and golds on black. It's very strange for normally I'd like throw in a crazy color, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna do two. We're gonna try out this attachment. By the way, you can get this at Food Art Company. Um, also, I'll take off the attachment because there's a special way you need to blow with this because it's not like a regular hair dryer with a mouth, you know, it's like difficult. So hopefully my paints are the right consistency. I don't even remember, but uh, let's go have fun. You guys, I just did two pieces. The first piece, as I was filming the ending, because it was really nice, the light that I was using fell right into it. Turns out I didn't even tape it anyways. So I did a second piece. I don't actually like it, so that's okay. But again, it didn't even record. So I just did two pieces that were super frustrating, but the colors are on point. So let me do it all over again. Let me show you the ugly one that I did. <laughs> um, 
what happened was I didn't, I mean, this was like, cause I had to pour over the original one that my light fell into. So I didn't put enough pillow paint down and this blow dryer is so strong. <clears throat> it blew up everything. You can see all the um, pillow paint. So uh, it is actually better to have thicker paints with this one, okay? Lacing is really cool, but it, obviously we want more color. Oh my God, you guys. Okay, let me put on my gloves and let's start all over again. Um, the first one I did, by the way, I used the attachment and it blows lighter with the attachment on than with, um, without the attachment. Why don't I do, uh, yeah, okay. So what we're gonna do, since the, I'll do the attachment one again. I did like it. Um, <laughs> so I am, I don't actually want too much paint because I don't wanna have to spin it out too much. So let me just stretch her out here. You know those days? Sometimes I get those funny days when lots of funny things happen. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Get it down here, down here. All right. Yeah, because I don't want to have to spin it too much. I will do a little bit of a line of pillow just so I don't blow up. Now just keep checking that I'm recording. <laughs> just so I don't blow up too much pillow. Okay. So what I did was, because I'm a brilliant person, not really, um, I'm going to do like a, oh, first I'm going to, and I'm not going to put too much paint actually. Last time I did put a little too much paint. I'm going to start with my TLP Harvest Gold. Okay. Now I don't need much because I'm going to be layering a lot of paint. Okay. So I'm going to start with my darker colors and do like kind of like an ombre. Okay. So we have this like, we have Prussian blue, phthalo turquoise. I'm just gonna kind of go like this, moving on up, you know? Um, this looks like Amsterdam greenish blue. Okay. This looks like something which we do not know. <laughs> this is that Josonia. Blue, I wish I could remember what it was. Is it French something? Why do I want to call it French? Or laundry? No, not laundry. Yeah, I'm still recording, good. I think I have PTSD. Um, then we're gonna do this. Crazy blue. Okay. Then we're gonna do this um, cobalt teal. Okay. Then we will do, I believe this is a custom one I made. Okay. And why don't we top it off? This other custom one I made. Okay. Now we'll go piggies. Um, why don't we start with a waterfall? It is a very gorgeous color. Okay. Then why don't we go hammerhead? You know, then why don't we go sea glass? Okay, right? Then why don't we go, I think this is mermaid to be honest, mermaid. And then we'll top it with my custom poolside color. Now, to top that off, I made another custom color, okay? Let me show it to you. I don't have a name for it yet, but it's minty. So you're like, oh, that's normal. Well, look at this. I mixed, can you guys see? TLP velvet in it. So it has, in certain lights, a shimmer. How did I mix that, you might ask? I took phthalo green, a dot of phthalo turquoise, and Zinc white with TLP velvet, which is their blue interference, and that's what it makes. So, all right, 
So let me put the attachment back on. My little guy here. So this you have to, with the attachment on, you have to blow slow and push it like you're doing a Dutch pour. So I'm not gonna put too much cell activator on here. Um, why don't I start with this because there's more paint on this side here. Okay, here we go. I liked the little thing that I did where I pushed it down the line first. Uh, I think that was helpful. Yeah, that waterfall looks nice. Definitely, um, I don't know. Do I like this one better than the original one? Cause I put less paint on this one, so it is a bit of a different look, but oh my God, ah, these colors. Okay, honestly, these pigments, and I'm not even joking, okay? They just like are so, in, in these lights, so beautiful. I don't know if I like the, these, they look like channel blows, and you know how I feel about those. So I will. Do something with them. I'm not sure what yet. Um, just to break it up a bit, like you know, they're it's very linear and not organic looking. Mm, I love that. I'll go like this. All right. I mean, I don't want to mess with it too much. <laughs> As I always say, and then I do. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do a close up right now of this color before I spin it off. All right, let's spin her out. Here we go. Oh, I should charge my phone. Really pretty cells. Love it. Okay, so I'll continue spinning. I will do a close up of this, and then we were gonna, we were, we are gonna figure out how to do a good blowout. All right. Be right back. Okay, round four. <laughs> um, what are we gonna do? I don't know. Why don't I start with um, TLP Hammerhead. And remember, so without that attachment, it blew really, really hard. So I wanna make sure I have enough layered <clears throat> on top of each other to, so the pillow doesn't come up too much. So I'm just gonna layer like one piggy, one tuby. No rhyme or reason. I do love this waterfall though. You know why I think I love it? Because it has the same kind of color 
warmth as velvet, which is, you know, one of my top faves. Okay. Um, what are we gonna do next? Oh, why don't we do my cool side? Also, if your paints are too thick, I think I've shown a video, um, it kind of has the pillow come up a lot too. There's a lot of um, things you have to pay attention to in terms of consistency and how you blow. There's a lot of reasons why your pillow might come up. Let's not forget the gold. And why don't you do one more dark and then I'll top it off with that custom color. What haven't I used? No idea. I wasn't even paying attention, maybe this one. Okay. <clears throat> we'll do my custom. Are you ready? Let's hope for the best for this one. Let me take off the thingy. Okay. Let me put my cell activator down. Uh, let's get her back in the middle first. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Definitely cute. Definitely blow it a lot better. So that goes to show the amount of paint you put down is important. The thickness of your pillow is important. Okay. Cute. Lots of gold coming up, which we love. I'm gonna leave the outsides as they are. Why don't I do a close up while she's sinking? Okay, well, let's spin her up. Just like a good old, plain old little bloomy, you know? The cute sparkle. So yeah, with this blow dry hair dryer, you need to make sure that you have enough of a base down so your pillow doesn't come up. And um, you have to like push it a little bit, you know? And you'll notice I kind of did the shaky, shaky moving. I think that helped too. Cool. Yeah, there's a buble I wanna get to. I like it. So, luckily, I would have been very fâché. That means mad in French. If this one didn't work out, because I've been doing this for way too long. But I'm happy now. Mm, what's this little? Okay, cool. Bad news, though, is I hardly put a dent in any of my blues that I wanted to work on, so. Oh well for me, you know. There's some really cool areas. This area here is really cool. I actually love the lacing over the plain black. I think that gives it <clears throat> some interest as well. How much more paint do we got here? How much? Okay. Let me know what you think of the hair dryer. Uh, do you like the attachment or do you prefer the regular blowout? Um, hope you guys enjoyed like subscribe all of that fun stuff if you want to <laughs> love you. Bye